Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today we will be doing like a challenge of some sort. Well, it's not really a challenge, but let's just go with it. So I'll be reading all of these novellas that I have. So I actually don't have a lot of novellas just because I'm not really a fan of them. But these guys really intrigue me, intrigue me the most. And so we will see what they're about. So this is a two stories. So if you can see, they look really, really pretty. I love the illustrations on them. So I think they're just really gorgeous and I think they also complement one another. So that's really beautiful. Okay, so the first one is in the foul thing, Roma and Juliet have established themselves as the heads of an underground weapon ring in Zuzong. Zhuang, making a living the way they do best by remaining anonymous in a peaceful, quiet life. But when they hear about seven Russian girls turning up dead in nearby towns, they decide to investigate and ultimately discover that this mystery is much closer to home than they ever imagined. In this foul murderer, Benedict and Marshall have been summoned by Rama to find elusive scientist Norman's and bring him to Zhuang. Time is of the essence aboard the week-long Trans-Siberian Express. But when someone is murdered and born, Bendik and Marshall convince the officer to charge, not to stop the train, so that they aren't thrown off schedule. Instead, they pretend that they're investigators and promise they can solve the murder. But as they dig deeper, deeper they realize that the murder might have surprising ties to their own mission. That sounds really, really nice. That reminds me of that train movie. Oh my gosh, I can't remember what's it called. But it, it has that train feel to it as well. I can't remember what's it called. So that movie is called Train to Busan. That's what it reminds me of. Uh, yes, I have to search it. But I have not yet watched, watched the movie. I kind of do because it looks really, really good. So I will watch that sometime soon. My next novella is actually a novella from Sorcery of Thorns, which is right here. And it's Mysteries of Thorn by Margaret Rogerson. Elizabeth Scrivener is finally settling into her new life with Sasha Nathaniel Thorne. Now that the demon companion Silas has returned, so has scrutiny from nosy reporters hungry for gossip about the city's most powerful sorcerer and the librarian who stole his heart. But something strange is afoot at the Thorn Manor, the estate's ones, which are meant to, to keep the home safe, are forcibly trapping the manor's occupants inside. Surely it must be a coincidence that this happened just as Nathaniel and Elizabeth started getting closer to each other. With no access to the outside world, Elizabeth, Nathaniel, and Silas, along with the new maid, Mercy, will have to discover the source of the magic behind the malfunctioning wards before they're due to host the city's midwinter ball. Not an easy task when the house is filled with unexpected secrets, and all Elizabeth can think about is kissing Nathaniel in peace. But when it becomes clear that the house, influenced by the magic of Nathaniel's ancestors requires a price for its obedience, Elizabeth and Nathaniel will have to lean on their connection like never before to set things right. So, it looks short and shouldn't take me too long to read this, but it looks promising. And my final novella is actually from the world of Daughter of the Moon Goddess and Heart of the Sun Warrior. So this is Tales of the Celestial Kingdom by Su Lin Tan. Return to the immortal realm, a world of gods, magic, and legendary creatures. Embark upon new adventures of valor, danger, and romance. Tales of the Celestial Kingdom collects nine spellbinding stories, seven original and two previously published, including the long anticipated epilogue to the duology, set in the enchanting world of Su Lin Tan's stunning debut. Filled with magic and mythology, friendship, rivalries, and love, these stories intertwine through the past, present, and future of the two novels, torn from the perspectives of multiple characters, including Zheng Yin, Li Wei, Wen Zi, Shai Li, and Xu Xiao. With beautiful black and white illustrations from Kelly Chong throughout these wondrous tales, make them perfect complement of Tsul Lin Tan's breathtaking series. So, and the illustrations are really, really beautiful. I will show you one. I mean, look at it. Imagine if this was in color, in the color, it would be so prettier. But, ugh, these are just amazing. I mean, look at all the headers and all that. 
intimate and beautiful and I love the color and it's so shiny so yeah so these are my novellas that I'll be reading so I think I don't know which one to start with I think I will start with last Violet call and then we will work from there so it shouldn't take me too long to finish these so but knowing me I won't get distracted and I, and I will end up doing other things but we will make it happen. We will finish all these books in one day. Because they're really not that long, so... We will finish this. last my local um honestly it's okay i think it was okay but um in a foul thing i gave it a 3.5 stars i think it's okay i think it could have focused more on the mission instead of like the whole fluffiness between norma and juliet and there was some scenes that were kind of random since norma was hunting for information and then all of a sudden he bought flowers for juliet which is fine but like Wrong place, wrong time. I don't know, it just felt really awkward. So I'm not, so I don't think that scene was necessary for that reason. But yeah, I wish they had more mission for the story because they had actually had a mission to go, but it was just all lovey dovey in this book. But um, in this foul murderer, I do like this one way better. It's four stars. The following Benedict and Marshall who investigate and murdered on a train because someone was murdered so i like those kind of mysteries i think it's fun it still reminds me of train to busan so it was really nice read i liked the mystery i liked how they investigated there were some cute moments between the two especially since they're also my favorite characters so i really liked reading about them i wish we had more books about them i can kind of see some missions between them so i think it's really nice 
So yeah, so those are my thoughts. And it was fun reading novellas, even though it's not really my thing. But yeah, it was fun. I didn't obviously complete it, all of them. So, um... <laughs> So I finished the, my last book, it's Mysteries of, of Thorn Manor. I gave it a 5 stars, I thought it was really, really cute. And it's kind of nice just to revisit like the old, like the old world that we have fallen in love with from the beginning. So it was just nice to revisit, I thought the story was cute and just really satisfying to see like a few years back I think that took place. So. Yeah, it was like it's a pretty cool short story, so all 1.5 if you will. But um, 
I liked it. It was just, it was just a, like a fun, cute read. So I really liked it. But um, yeah, so that I completed my novella in one day, which never happens. But these are novellas. These are short. So I did it. <laughs> But um, if I have to choose, I'll probably choose Tales of the Celestial Kingdom just because the designs and the illustrations are really so pretty, they're so beautiful, but I think my favorite story is um, Foul Murder. This Foul Murder, just because of a whole lot train ride, I just find those stories really fascinating. So, in Tales of the Celestial Kingdom may be pretty, but I really enjoyed this Foul Murder, so. Yeah, but anyways, so that'll be it for this video. If you like this, please like, comment, subscribe, so you'll be notified every time I post, and I will see you on my next one. Bye!